Texas Rangers will investigate the Texas Speaker of the House, Angleton Republican Dennis Bonin. This comes after the leader of a political nonprofit accused him of offering media credentials for campaign work. KXAM political reporter Phil Prazen was at the Texas House Committee on Investigations when that decision was made. There will be no testifying witnesses today and only members of the committee will be participating. The committee tried to move this from a political issue to a law enforcement issue, bringing in the state's version of the FBI, the Texas Rangers. The three Republicans and two Democrats made the decision in executive session. Any investigation should follow the facts and the evidence without regard to political considerations. The Rangers will look into accusations that Speaker of the House Dennis Bonin offered a quid pro quo to Michael Quinn Sullivan from Empower Texans, campaign work against his rivals in exchange for press access to state lawmakers on the House floor. Sullivan made a secret recording of the entire thing. This public meeting was supposed to be about transparency, but two minutes in and now they're in the back room again and I am concerned about the back room deals. Carrollton Democrat Michelle Beckley was mentioned in the recording according to multiple sources and fellow lawmakers who've heard it. She has concerns about the House Committee because its chair, Dallas Republican Morgan Meyer, received $20,000 of in-kind contributions for polling from Dennis Bonin, the speaker he would be investigating. Meyer did not speak to the press afterward. I was hoping to see more than we just saw right now. So at this time, um, we'll, we will see. So now the Texas Rangers will investigate and report back to the committee with its findings. If they find evidence of a crime, they'll also hand that off to prosecutors in Bonin's home county. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. A spokesperson for Speaker Bonin tells KXAN that he fully supports the committee's decision and has complete faith in the House rules and committee process working as they are intended. The House GOP caucus chairman, Dustin Burroughs, was at the meeting in June as well, but has not commented since. The Texas Rangers have only been in charge of investigating allegations against public officials for a few years. Those investigations used to be handled by the Public Integrity Unit within the Travis County District Attorney's Office. That's because the capital is in Travis County. In 2013, Governor Rick Perry vetoed money to fund that unit. He was indicted on charges that he abused his office after that. The state's highest criminal court dismissed the charges. So what's next? The Rangers will deliver the findings of their investigation to the home county of that elected official. So in this case, it would be, it would be Brazoria County.